Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com and in this video I want to show you how to create a secure custom tracking domain in ClickMagic. So in the previous video we went ahead and created our tracking link here and then if you recall we had some custom domain options here that I have now deleted. So let's go ahead and do what I did to add this custom domain. So instead of clkmg.com it says yourdomain.com, all right? So the first thing you have to do is buy a domain. Now I bought my domain on Namecheap. I love Namecheap. I've been using this for domains for the past three years. You don't have to use Namecheap. Whatever provider you use, whatever domain registrar, just buy a domain, okay? That's the first thing. So even if you already have a domain, I suggest you buy a separate tracking domain just so you can keep the two separate and so you can keep the records. There are certain DNS records that you have to change so that nothing changes and there are no accidents and your website doesn't break and stuff like that, okay? So if you already have a site, you know, mywebsite.com, then buy a new site called mywebsite.net, for example, just for tracking, okay? So I bought woodworkingmastery.com. The next thing you have to do is head over to cloudflare.com. I'll put the link in the description and sign up for a free Cloudflare account, okay? Again, it's 100% free, but this is what's going to allow you to create this security certificate in uh, click magic so that your website can be secure. Okay, your, your tracking link can be secure. So head, uh, click on sign up, fill in the details, basic process, verify your email, and that's it. Okay, uh, you'll you will come up uh, on a screen that looks like this. All right, and this is where we're gonna start. Uh, by the way, if you're using anything other than Namecheap and you want help in setting up your domain, let me know in the comments below what provider you're using. Okay, and I will be able to help you uh, set up the domain. So that being said, we have woodworkingmastery.com. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to copy this domain. In this case, on Namecheap. Let's head over here to Cloudflare and paste it in here and click add site. So we're gonna give it a second to load. And now we just have to select the plan. So like I said, you can have a completely free plan. So select free, okay, you don't need anything else. Uh, this is pretty simple, you won't need much support. Uh, much troubleshooting. Once we set it up here, you're pretty much good to go unless ClickMagic and Cloudflare change their documentation, okay? So we're gonna give it a second to load. Uh, you can delete this first record here. Everything else you could delete as well uh, if you bought it only for tracking, okay? So if you are already using a domain with your website on it, don't change anything, okay? It might break your website. So be very careful. Uh, because it might break your site, okay? So that's why I strongly suggest that you just buy a whole new domain to avoid this because you won't know which of these records you can delete and which ones you can't, okay? Now I bought a new domain, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this first record pointing to Namecheap, okay? So I'm gonna delete that one. Everything else we can leave as is, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna close out of that Cloudflare window really quickly. And now what we're gonna do is we'll click on add record, okay? And you have two options here. One is you can add just the root domain, for example, woodworkingmastery.com, or you can add a domain with a subdomain, such as uh, track.woodworking-mastery.com, okay? So depending on which method you want to use, there are two separate things you have to do. So if you want to add the one with say www or track.woodworkingmastery.com. All you have to do is select CNAME over here, click on track, and then for the target, you're gonna type in www.clkmg.com, okay? And so now we will be able to use this domain, track.woodworking-mastery.com as our link, okay? So that's gonna be what's showing up here. Now suppose you don't want to use the subdomain track, you just wanted to say woodworkingmastery.com, how do you do that? Um, so this is uh, a case if you especially just bought a brand new domain and so you don't have a website on there if you wanna do that. So you're gonna head over to tools, or sorry, learn and knowledge base. And I'm showing you the steps to go here because the IP address that you need is gonna be specific to you. Everyone's IP address is gonna be slightly different from each other, okay? So type in custom domain here, click on this first article here, scroll down, and it's saying I bought a new domain. So scroll down here a little bit, keep going. And then this is the IP address you're gonna use. Now this is my IP address for tracking links. Yours might be different. 
So that's why make sure you type in custom domain if you want to set it up using um, just the root domain. So we're using tracking links and we want to set up the root domain. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this, go back into um, Cloudflare. We're gonna add an, a, uh, add an A record. We're gonna enter at here, the at symbol. And then for the IP address, we're gonna paste that here. We'll click save and that's it, okay? So now we can use both just woodworking-mastery.com and track.woodworking-mastery.com, okay? Once again, I suggest you buy a new domain for five to $10 max a year. You don't have to spend much, but it, it, you know, it makes life easier for you. So let's click continue. So next thing we have to do is point the name servers. So because we are doing everything in Cloudflare, we have to let Namecheap know that, hey, we're doing everything in Cloudflare. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this first name server, head back into Namecheap. Um, so select your domain, wherever your domain is. Okay, in our case, Woodworking Mastery, go into domain list, select the domain, and that's how you end up on this screen. Select domain here at the top, and then under name servers, click on custom DNS. And this is where you paste your first name server. Head back into Cloudflare, copy name server to go back here and paste this here and click next. Now this might take a few hours to propagate, a maximum of 24 hours. Sometimes it takes five to 10 minutes, okay? So if your domain doesn't work immediately, just a heads up, that's okay, okay? So let's head back over here and let's click done, check name servers. Make sure this here is set to full because you need full uh, security. And this always uses HTTPS. We're gonna click on done. Uh, you can click on recheck now to speed up the process a little bit. So we've done that. One more thing we have to do, let's head over into SSL. Let's click on Edge Certificates over here and let's scroll down again uh, and make sure this automatic HTTPS rewrites is also set to on, okay? So you're pretty much good to go here. We can head over back to DNS to check our records, okay? This is where we uh, change things up. And when we go to click Magic, let's go back to click Magic now. So here we are in our links. So what you're gonna do from here is click on Tools click on domain manager. And now we have to add our domain. So remember, we can add either the root domain or the one with track, okay? So let's suppose we want to add the root domain first. So I'm gonna just copy this. Again, you only really need one of the two, you don't need to add both, okay? So you really only need one, but I was just showing you how to do both in case you want to do one or the other. So we're gonna paste that here, okay? So notice that I want just the root domain because I set it up, okay? Because sometimes people, they don't set up this IP address and then they add their just the root domain. This will not work if you don't set it up, okay? So you have to set up the root domain in order to set it up here. So we'll leave it at CNAME DNS. We're gonna leave it at tracking links because we are using tracking links. We're gonna leave the error URL blank and let's click on add custom domain. So this was successfully added, yours might not be successfully added, okay? So keep that in mind, it's okay if it's not, it might take a little bit of time, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing here now with the subdomain that we added, which was track, right? Remember, we added track. So we're gonna add track.woodworking-mastery.com. Again, CNAME DNS, tracking links, add custom domain, let's see if it works, and it does, okay? So one more thing we have to do now, we're pretty much done with the integration. Let's head over to links. Let's click on our tracking link and select what we want. So if we want track, we'll click save changes. And now if we preview this link, we might get a privacy security warning. It's possible. Um, nope, so not in this case. In this case, we were redirected just fine. But if you get the security warning, as long as you follow the steps here, you can disregard it and it's gonna go away shortly, okay? So that's with track. And then let's try just our root domain. So let's click here and let's click on our link again and test that. And it works too, it redirects us to the correct page. And that is it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you create a custom tracking domain. If you want a full comprehensive course on ClickMagic, I cover it all in my ClickMagic course. Check out my courses at evonmana.com slash all dash courses. And you will see a few different courses, including this ClickMagic one, all right? Uh, that being said, thank you for watching. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know in the comments what you would like uh, for me to cover if I missed something or if you have a different domain registrar. Other than, than that, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.